Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. We've talked a little bit about the National Defense Authorization Act, also known as the NDAA. There is a new version which includes an amendment that would actually legalize the use of propaganda on the American public, according to Michael Hastings of BuzzFeed. The amendment was proposed by Mark by Mac Thornberry, a Republican from Texas, and by Adam Smith, a Democrat from Washington, and it passed in the House last week. It would basically nullify the Smith Munt Act of 1948, which specifically forbids information and psycho psychological operations aimed at influencing U.S. opinion. Uh, Thornberry says the current law ties the hands of America's diplomatic officials, military and others by inhibiting our ability to effectively communicate in a credible way. What this basically means is they want to be able to use these. They're called information operations to target not only foreign audiences, which we know happens and uh, people here don't care about quite as much, but also to target domestic audiences. Uh, we've seen this done in practice, right? In other words, just because this was kind of against the law, formally against the law, it still is done. Look at what happened with the bill of goods we were sold with the Iraq war, right? I mean, to say, well, it may not have been a formal government information operation. I would even argue with that. I mean, there was a decided uh, effort, a concerted effort to convince people of a certain thing in order for them to support going into Iraq. It was very, very clear. Right. I mean, partially that was the use of what they knew to be faulty information, right? Right. Um, I mean, that's kind of, is lying the same as propaganda? Well, as, let's as, see. You know, is, is lying that, the same as propaganda? Is that the same as an information agenda? Or is it, I don't know. I think it is, right? What do you think, Natan? Well, it's difficult to say whether it should be a crime for politicians to lie. I mean, uh, certainly there's a way of impeaching them, but on the other hand, if congressmen are in it with the president, then there's no way that that'll ever happen. So I don't know what to think about that. If the NDAA goes into effect in its current form with this provision in it, the State Department and the Pentagon can basically go. They already manipulate mainstream media outlets and they do information campaigns. As we see on Fox News, they just repeat the Fox News talking points or, or rather they repeat the Republican talking points in many cases with the same typos. Right. So we already have government and politicians influencing mainstream media that we already have. But this provision would actually allow this to go even further and allow the government to create specific misinformation campaigns directly geared at the U.S. public without having to simply kind of run it through mainstream media. It really doesn't seem like that Smith Munt Act did much in the first place. Right. I mean, look at the amount of propaganda that we've seen from the government since 1948. Right. Uh, I don't think it really helped. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about this. Not really. It's not like we're going to end up like North Korea. Um, but <laughs> But at Famous the same last time, words. it's it, it seems unnecessary. Natan, is it unnecessary or is it downright concerning? Um, I mean, I'm concerned about it. I, I don't know exactly what the repercussions would be, but it's certainly not good when there's a legal mechanism in place for misleading <laughs> from the government's perspective. That's certainly, my concern. Uh, yeah. But the but thing we'll is, some see. people will say, Natan, some people will say, and this goes for Lewis, too. When somebody comes on this show and they say, well, listen, um, we need guns to protect ourselves from the possibility of, a, of a, the government becoming tyrannical. And, and we just say, come on, but that's not going to happen. It's not very likely. When's the last time that this, that's actually been an effective way of defending yourself from the government? Somebody could say, you know what? I don't really care about this because I just don't think it's very likely that the government's really going to turn us into North Korea. It's the same kind of argument, right? Uh, I, I, I don't know about that. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit unsure about this because it seems to me like we already have a de facto propaganda machine. I mean, if you look at super PACs and the ads that they were running, just saying blatantly false things about Obama shipping Jeeps jobs overseas and yeah. all sorts of things and but those denying are, those climate are, change. That's like a that was a campaign thing. What about denying climate change? We have a political party that essentially rejects the consensus of science. I would say that that's a complete propaganda machine yeah. that's anti-facts that's true i mean is there added credibility because it's coming from a government source uh not for a lot of people no. right i don't think so